Hello, so today's episode, I am episode video, I'm going to show you how to um how to get apps for free on your whatever. This works for iOS eight. Um for iOS seven it's kinda of straightforward what you do, you just like replace basically anything I say iOS eight but iOS seven. And there you go. But so first thing you need a um you need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod, whatever. I'm using my iPod, but so you need to have City on it, and then you are going to load into Cydia. It might take a while to load because that's Cydia. But so the um, so you're gonna go to Sources and um, from Sources, you click edit and then add and then you're going to type in um, repo dot hack your iPhone I don't know what happened there uh, dot org and then you're going to click add source I already have it downloaded right here and what you do from here is you need to get oh okay Psst. just wait a second but you need to get um uh another two more things after you get that source so the source is um basically a um just a domain of a whole bunch of different cool links and stuff, and if I, do, if I ever do more of these videos, it's probably going to be from Hack Your iPhone, because they have the best, um, they usually have the best everything. But, so, next, you're going to get, um, AppSync. To get AppSync, you just go to search, and you're going to type in AppSync, and you'll click on the one that says 5.x through 8.x, that's just saying it'll work for iOS 5 through iOS 8. And I already have it right here. And then after that, you are going to go down to Link Store for iOS 8. So you're going to type in Link Store. For iOS 7, you're going to click on this one. If you have iOS 8, just simply click on the iOS 8 one. And then from there, what's going to happen is once that all downloads and everything, which might take a while, so, you know, just pause the video and go and do it, you're going to go to the App Store, and you're going to see a new icon when you, um, when you search an app. So, there's this new app that I've wanted. It is two dollars, but I'm gonna get it for free right here. I played this first game, it's great. And then I saw that the second game came out and I was like, oh no, it's two dollars. So, but I was like, oh wait, I know how to do this. So you're gonna click on the app, and then you're gonna see right here it says get with link store. So when you click on that, it will bring you here, and you will have all of these different links that you can um, try to get it from. Some of them will work, some of them will not. Like if I try this one, it um, it also varies really a lot. On um, sometimes these can take up to twenty seconds to get the link. Sometimes they're five seconds. Sometimes they're ten, fifteen. Sometimes they're twenty-five. But um. So we'll do this twice, and then it'll tell you if it worked or not. So I'm just going to go, and I'm going to... But another thing for you to um know is that if I go to the bottom, you can see here it says 1.0.1 .1 under all of these. And um, that means that that's the version of the game. So the version of this game is 1.0.1, .1, and then it goes here. So really, you want to get the newest version 
because, which in this case would be 1.0.11, because if you don't, um, you will have a really annoying pop-up bubble thing on your uh, App Store thing telling you to update it, but when you try to update it, it will most likely tell you that, um, that it was either bought on a different device, which means, which it was, because someone got it and then they got the download link here. So, um, so that's something to know. So you really want to get the newest version, and if it's a game that's easy to, um, easy to either restart or it has Game Center on it, then what you should be able to do is just delete it and then get the newest version. I do the same thing, but to get the newest version. Um, so you don't have that annoying pop-up bubble, or you could just turn it off. You don't really give a crap. So I tried that one, so I'm just going to go down, and I'll try this one. And I'll see if this works. Sometimes, yeah, there, there are ads every once in a while, but, you know, you're getting a free game. <laughs> what can I say? Nothing's really that free. You have to watch an ad somewhere. Like, this is ad at the bottom, but, you know, it's not, it doesn't harm you. It's just there. You just click X if one pops up. It's not a big deal. So I tried getting this game before, and um, it took me a while to find one that worked. I don't know why. It's just different games vary. I just got a game that was um that I got for free. It was like it's like five dollars usually, and um, I got it on the first try. The first one that I chose, just the top one, worked. And sometimes you'll be lucky. Sometimes this might take a while. But once you find one that works, it will be obvious that it worked. It will give you a notification saying um, your download will begin immediately. And then, I'm just really hoping this will pop up and kind of turn this off. So it'll say your download will begin immediately. Actually, I don't want that. Oh, and sometimes it'll ask you for a CAPTCHA. Um, but that was an old version of the game. I want a new one. And sometimes it, you will get the game, but then if you click on it, it'll open it and it'll just crash. And to fix that, you can restart your device. If you just turn it off, turn it back on, or if you have, um, one of, there's a city tweak that allows you to do a jailbreak restart. And, um, I'm just gonna see if this works. Then the work tried the capture thing. Okay, yeah. So it'll say your down the download will start immediately. And now over here, I have this. And then there's a lot of problems with this, um, but you know that's what you get for getting free games. Sometimes it'll just stay on waiting forever. And there's a fix to that. My screen just froze right there. So you can just give it a give it a second. Make sure you don't have anything else that is downloading that's preventing this from downloading. You can tap on it once or twice. See if it works. And then if it doesn't, what you have to do is um, you have to respring your device. And to do that, um, the best way is to get is to get a Cydia tweak. I don't remember what it's called. I have it. Let me go look for it. It is Power Tap. Power Tap from Big Boss Tweaks. And what you can do is I can hold the lock button. And then I can choose to either turn it off, reboot it, respring it, which that's to redo the jailbreak thing. It'll, it'll reset the jailbreak and it'll... It won't delete any of your stuff, it just kind of does a nice refresh. And then there's a safe mode, which I don't know what the safe mode does. Now, it might be a safe way to turn it off without messing up any of your tweaks. Because you can turn it off, but it won't always... It might mess it up. So, it worked. I just left it for a while and it worked. And now let's see if it opens up. So you can see the game is opening, and this is the full version, it's not free version, and 
that noise just went on. <laughs> that is really loud. Sorry if I just burst your eardrums. But I can play it and I can start the game and everything. So, thanks for watching. And that is how you get game apps. Not games. Games and apps. For free. I will be posting another video on how to get music for free, and I'll be posting one on how to get app purchases for free. So keep a lookout for those. Thanks for watching. Bye.